fantastic. All right, let's move on to this now for a minute. A Democratic awesome. lawmaker who's been criticized for backing President Trump's re-election campaign is now calling out his own party. In a tweet, Georgia State Representative Vernon Jones writes, quote, as a lifelong Democrat and black man, it pains me to admit this, but I've come to a realization. The Democrat Party doesn't give a darn about us. They've become more concerned about putting illegals first and Americans last. I changed up. Here to explain that Democratic Georgia State Representative Vernon Jones. Representative, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you sounded a little fired up about that, and I don't, I don't blame you, but tell us from your perspective what you heard once you got back after saying good things about Donald Trump. Well, first of all, it's obvious that the Democratic Party does not care about the black vote. They've taken it for granted, and they certainly do not have room under that so-called big tent for those of us who are black and independent with conservative leanings. And so I was very disappointed about what they've been doing, and as my, my mantra now is I'm going to just make it uh, known how they're treating African Americans, and they don't take our vote uh, as for value. They think it's just going to be there for them, and no longer are we going to be a part of that. As I mentioned, um, I, I left that plantation, turn the lights off, and they can give that sweet to somebody else. Representative, I, I salute you for your courage. I mean, it's one thing to, as a Democrat to come out and say this, another thing to express support for the president in light of how your party feels about him. You say you, you tweet about coming to the realization. What was that uh, that process coming to this realization? Well, let me be clear. This president has shown two great things. One, leadership. Two, results. And what he has done for the African-American community uh, is unparalleled to any president in modern times. And so uh, I put my party uh, last. I put my country before my party. And I wish more people would do that. And this country can get many other things accomplished and done for its people, for the American people. And so President Trump, uh, through Opportunity Zone districts, through helping historical black colleges, in which I attended North Carolina Central University, as well as um, when you look at what he's done for the economy, like the economy and creating jobs, and clearly the Criminal Justice Reform Act, in which Joe Biden kept craft that bill that literally incarcerated masses of black people. And to even think that a black person would want to vote for Joe Biden it just doesn't make sense. Donald Trump has a proven record of getting things done, period, for all Americans, and certainly uh, what he's done for the American, uh, African-American community, uh, again, is just, it's just amazing. And we need to reelect him, and I would do everything I can to help him get reelected. Have you received any backlash from your own party, from any Democrats in your community? Well, first of all, what are they going to do, spank me? Uh, they call themselves sense for me. But, but there's a pattern going on here. Uh, state representative out in uh, Tennessee, one in Michigan, that were Democrats who, who spoke uh, independently with some conservative leanings, and they've been ostracized, and one has been taken off the ballot. So there's a pattern here, and this is what the Democratic Party has been doing for years. And so don't only really ask me. Uh, Diddy, the rapper just recently said that Joe Biden and the Democratic Party would no longer take our votes for granted. And that is serious. And so the Democratic Party's horrified. They're terrified that I am getting blacks to wake up, yes, become woke as to what's going on so they can be more independent. Vote. As a matter of fact, it's voter suppression by the Democratic Party. They are literally trying to suppress blacks who want to vote for Donald Trump. They want to ostracize them. They want to criticize them. And that's the real vote of suppression we should be fighting. And that's what I plan to fight. Well, Representative, I got to tell you, all you ask for is people on both sides of the aisle to call balls and strikes the way they see them. So hats off to you. Yeah. Well, that's it, calling balls and strikes, putting my country before my party, and uh, electing leaders who really get the job done. And, you know, one courageous person is in the crowd is majority. And so if I had to take the hits for it, fine. I want to make sure that black people and American people know what the Democratic Party is doing. They are being run by plantation owners. And blacks who are working or I should say, listening to their message, they're merely plantation workers. So, look, leave that farm. Think independently. Be who you are. Be concerned like we've always been. Vernon Jones, you got a fan in me. Thank you for your courage. Thanks for speaking out today. Really appreciate it. Great stuff. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, awesome.